Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 8 where we are learning a lot on arithmetic progression. Friends, this is episode number 7 and today we are going to find out how do we solve questions where we may need to find the nth term of an AP or arithmetic progression. This is part 4 because this is the fourth part where we are taking a look at how to solve questions on arithmetic progression. Now friends, I hope that you have uh, you are following us along at risingpearl.com. In the last webisode, webisode 6, we talked about what is the nth term of arithmetic progression and how do we actually find it? What is the formula to calculate the nth term of an arithmetic progression? So if you have not taken a look at that video, I would suggest please go take a look at that because in this webisode, we are going to continue to use that formula over and over again. So let's take a look at the first question. And we are using a running count as far as the questions are concerned. So because this is the fourth part where we are solving questions on arithmetic progression, we have seen 11 questions earlier. So find the missing term, terms of arithmetic progression. So this should be, well, term. Now we have, we have an arithmetic progression. So what is given is this is arithmetic progression. So what is it telling us? So the first term, A1, we use a for arithmetic, uh, the first term of an arithmetic progression. So the value of a is 3. This is given as 3. Now what is the common difference? Now common difference, the value of that is not given to us, right? But what is given to us is there is one more term, which is, so this is the first term, a1, which is the first term, is equal to a, this is equal to 3, a2, which is the second term, we have to find the value of that. And what is given is A3, which is a third term, which is 15. So A3 is given as 15. Now, let us assume that common difference is D. If D is the common difference, what we know is from the last webisode that the third term of an arithmetic progression is written using the formula a plus n minus 1 times d. Now, let us put the value of a. a is equal to 3 plus n is third term, so 3, n equals 3. So, this will be 3 minus 1 times d. Now, this is the value of the third term and this is equal to 15, 1, 5. So we have, we have an equation with one, one unknown. So in other words, from here we can say this is equal to 3 plus, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 times d is 2d. So 3 plus 2d is equal to 15. So as you can see, this is a linear equation, right, with one unknown which is d. So from here we can say then 2d we are just simply solving this. So 3 goes on the other side. Sign will change. Plus 3 will become minus 3. So it will be 15 minus 3. It will be 15 minus 3, which will be 12. Or d is equal to 12 divided by 2. Because 2d is equal to 12. So d is equal to 6. So now we have found out the value of d. d is 6. So the question is find the missing term, not find the common difference. So what we can do is we can simply add 6 to 3. So we, if we add the value 6 to 3, we will get 9. Or we could have taken this term and subtracted 6 from it. And we will still get 9. Or we could have used our formula over here, which is a plus second term is n, n is 2 because it is second term minus 1 times d or a equals 3 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 times d is 6 and this will be 3 plus 6 which is equal to 9. So no matter how we calculate the value of the second term is going to be 9. Let's take a look at some more examples. Now, the next question is, find the missing term. So, this is interesting. There are two terms which are missing. So, the second term is missing and the third term is missing. So, how do we solve this? 
we have to find out the value of these two terms. But it is given that this is the arithmetic progression. So we will use the same thing like we did the last time. So let's write it here. So first term is equal to a, which is equal to 5. This is given to us. Common difference, we don't know that, but we will assume it is d and find out the value of d. And what is given is, so first, second, third, fourth term is given. So let's write it, fourth term. Now what is the formula finding the fourth term? It will be a plus n minus 1 times d. What is n? n is the number of the term. So if it is 4, fourth term n equals 4. So let's put the value of a as 5 plus n is the fourth term. We are looking for the fourth term. So n is equal to 4. So this will be equal to n. So it is the fourth term n minus 1 times d. And this value, so this is going to, so let's find out. So this will be 5 plus 3 times d. Now, this should be the fourth term. But we know the fourth term. The value of the fourth term is given. So this actually is equal to 9, 1 by 2. If we solve this, so let's solve this. So we have 5 plus 3d is equal to 9, 1 by 2, which will be 18, 19 by 2. So we have 19 by 2. Or in other words, if we solve this, we will see 13 or 3d, I should say. Let's get the 5 on the other side. It will be 19 by 2 minus 5. And if we solve this first, so we will have 2 as a denominator, 19 minus, this is 1, so 1, 2s are 2, 2, 5s are 10, or this will be 10, 19 minus 10 is 9 by 2. So what we have is 3d is equal to 9 by 2, so d will be, so 3 goes to the denominator, so from here we say d will be equal to 9 by 3 times 2 and 3 3 is a 9. In other words, d is equal to 3 by 2. So what we have is d will be equal to 3 by 2. So now that we know the first term and we know the common difference, we can really find out any of these terms. So for this, this is second term. So we are going to use the formula. So a2, which is a second term, it will be a plus n minus 1 times d. So a is 5, so we write 5, plus n is 2 minus 1 times d is 3 by 2. 3 by 2. So if we solve this, so it will be 5, 5 plus 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so it will be 5 plus 3 by 2. In other words, so 2 is the denominator. Now, 5 twos are 10 plus 3 will be 13. So the second term, this should be 13 divided by 2. You can obviously express this as a mixed fraction and you can say it is basically 6, 1 by 2. But so this is the value of the second term and we also have to find out the third term. So for that we are going to use the formula A3. So A is 5 plus third term, so it will be 3 minus 1 times d is 3 by 2. So from here we will get 5 plus 3 minus 1 is 2 times 3 by 2. So these 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So 5 plus 3 which will be equal to 8. So this value will be equal to 8. So friends, let's take a look at some more examples. So I hope you are following us along with risingpearl.com and how we are using the formula, this formula, that is how do we find out the nth term in a arithmetic progression and we are using this over and over again to find out the missing terms of a progression. Let's take a look at some more questions. So wow, this is like uh, <laughs> we have quite a few terms. So one, two, three, four missing terms. So the question is find all the missing terms in arithmetic progression. What is given is this is an arithmetic progression. 
So all right, so let's let's go step by step. So a1, the first term, is given as minus 4. Or this is the value of a. We always use the first term as a, minus 4. And what is 6? This is, let's say, which term is 6? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sixth term. And a6, which is a sixth term, that is given as 6. Now let's assume that common difference is d. Who, which value we don't know. But what we do know is, let's write what we do know, which is that a6, if, I were, if we were to find out a6, it will be a plus n, which is 6, minus 1, times d. Now what is a? a is minus 4. a is minus 4 plus 6 minus 1 is 5, 5d. So, the sixth term of this arithmetic progression, sixth term should be given by the formula minus 4 plus 5d. But we know the sixth term. This value is given to us and this value is 6. That means this is equal to 6. So, we can actually solve it. So, in other words, if we solve this equation, this is a linear equation. So, from here we can see that 5d, 5d, will be equal to minus 4 if we take it to the other side will become plus 4 so it will be 6 plus 4 and 6 plus 4 is 10 so from here we can say if 5d is 10 so d will be 10 divided by 5 which is going to be equal to 2 so we have found out the value of d and d is equal to 2 so at this point we can find out this is a second term right so let's find out. So a2, which is the second term, will be a minus 4. This is a, a plus 2 minus 1 times d or minus 4, minus 4 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 times 2 is 2 or simply minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So this is minus 2. Right? So you can continue to use this formula and you can say, well, let's look at the third term. So the third term will be equal to minus 4 plus 3 minus 1, which will be 2, times common difference is 2, or minus 4 plus 4, which will be equal to 0. So you can continue to use this formula and find out each of these terms now that you know the value of A and you also know the value of D, right? And simply because it is just 2 as the difference, so you can keep adding 2 to the last term. So minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 2 is 6, so we know that we are actually correct.